It's focused. Wow. So we wind up put the ceiling on. We finally got the vinyl for it. Uh, but there's one more thing we realized we got to do on the roof, and that is install the solar racking. We don't have the panels yet, but we know the measurements. So we're going to install some racking on the roof so that we can finally put the ceiling up and there's nothing else that we need to get to uh, on the inside from the outside. So let's go do that. So here is the roof without any layout and I realized that the first layout, which is three panels here and two panels back here, was not gonna work because I needed a total of six. So I went and redesigned and realized I could fit four panels here this way and two panels here this way on the back of the bus. So that's the design that we went for. Here are the rails themselves and the first thing I needed to do was actually just paint them black. I used a primer first and then I just used black spray paint the day before we actually put the panels up. So here are them fully painted black and we are ready to install them onto the bus. First thing I needed to do was actually cut them to the size that I needed. So I came out here, measured what I needed and I was able to use this chop saw to cut all of the racking to the appropriate size before we even started. Then here was the actual extension piece that I needed to connect some of the racking so that it was the appropriate size so that it could fit the two panels next to each other where we were putting the four panels total. Here are the three pieces that will connect the two larger sections of the rail. So I have a piece, so this is the 20 inch extension and then this is just another piece that I cut. But what I wanna do is I wanna line them up and put this extension underneath so I know exactly where I'm drilling these four holes. Oh, we're good? So, after measuring on the roof, I have a few, had a few designs that I thought would work, but ultimately I came up with one that is gonna fit at least six panels on the roof in between the fans and then behind the fan and the, behind the fan on the back. So we have these rails that you can buy at Home Depot. They're just 12 gauge um, C channel or U channel. And they're perfect for mounting the solar that we're gonna do on the bus here. And they're gonna get mounted to the bus through lag bolts that are gonna go through the roof and then through the actual hat channel uh, on the top of the bus. But in between, we're actually just gonna use a hockey puck as a mounting bracket. Um, you'll see what I mean when we go on the bus. And I've seen it on a few YouTube videos and it seems to be working pretty well. So, but the first thing we need to do is measure on the roof exactly where these brackets are going to be drilled through the roof. Make sure that everything's straight so everything lines up. So we're gonna go up there, measure, and then uh, see where everything needs to go. Come up, the water is fine. Come on up. So we're gonna have three rails, one center rail, and then one on the outside to catch the sides of the panels. And what I'm measuring now is, what we wanna drill is three mounts for each one of the rails and we want to make sure it's in the very center of the hat channel so that we're drilling straight down into the hat channel. So if I go up in here then there's the bit right in the center of the hat channel. We have the first rail up, it is not fully mounted but the bolts are in each one of the mounts. And you, just, you can see it's propped up with the hockey pucks. So now we just need to do a rail on that side and a rail on that side. Here are the six extra holes for the three for each side for the racking uh, after they were drilled on the roof. We were able to start securing those two side racks on the larger section of the solar panels. Is this where I gotta get? I got it. Too much. 
Alright. Put down? Yeah. And here we are just applying exterior polyurethane sealant underneath all of the hockey pucks so that we didn't get any water inside of the holes that we just drilled on the bus. So we have these three rails in the back. Again, one panel and one panel, and they just have two mounting brackets on each so we can seal them up and secure them. So the way we're securing them is just with the impact with a socket on the end. We're just attaching it to the nut itself and then tightening it. And then from the other side, going down there and holding a wrench to the other side where it comes out on the hat channel. And then the last thing we wanna do is we have the wire that's gonna be connecting to the two ends of the solar panel array. And we're gonna feed it through the roof, but we're gonna feed it through this, these two spots here. So what we wanna do is drill one single hole with this. We're gonna put this rubber grommet through and then we're gonna feed the two wires through there and then through here. And then they're gonna be out right here enough so that the solar panel array can attach to it. So the wires come in here, and we need to get them from up there, down behind there, and the solar charger is going to be right here. So we basically just need to get them in this area. I'm going to pull through, and hopefully nothing bad happens. Okay, there we go. Let's secure this to the top of here. And I'm just uh, kind of just pulling the wires through here, just explaining to myself that it's going to work, and it's going to work. But here is the final product of all of the racking on top of the bus. Uh, it turned out perfectly fine. Everything was sealed up just the way we wanted it, and uh, here is the final product. So that's the end of this project, which means that we can finally start installing the ceiling, which we will work on next. With that said, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next video.